holy ground where my Holy Spirit dwells. In John 16, this was right before the Lord's Supper. He knew what he was getting ready to endure. He said to the disciples, I did not tell you this from the beginning because I was with you, but now I am going to the one who sent me. And not one of you asked me, where are you going? But because I told you this, grief has filled your hearts. But I tell you the truth, it is better for you that I go. For if I do not go, the Advocate will not come to you. But if I go, I will send him to you. And he, will, and he comes, and when he comes, he will convict the world in regard to sin, righteousness, and condemnation. Sin, because they do not believe in me. Righteousness, because I am going to the Father, and you will no longer see me. Condemnation, because the ruler of this world has been condemned. I have much more to tell you, but you cannot bear it now. But when he comes, the spirit of truth, he will guide you to all truth. He will not speak on his own, but he will speak what he hears and will declare to you the things that are coming. He will glorify me because he will take from what is mine and declare it to you. Everything that the Father has is mine. For this reason I told you that he will take from what is mine and declare it to you. In verse 16 of John 16, it reads, A little while, and you will no longer see me. And again, a little while later, you will see me. So some of his disciples said to one another, What does this mean that he's saying to us? A little while, and you will not see me. And again, a little while, and you will see me. And because I'm going to the Father? So they said, What is this little while in which he speaks? We don't know what he means. And Jesus knew they wanted to ask him. So he said to them, Are you discussing with one another what I said? A little while and you will not see me. And again, a little while and you will see me. Amen, amen. I say to you, you will weep and mourn. While the world rejoices, you will grieve. But your grief will become joy. And when a woman is in labor, she's in anguish because her hour has arrived. But when she's given birth to a child, she no longer remembers the pain because of her joy that a child has been born into the world. So you also are now in anguish, but I will see you again, and your hearts will rejoice, and no one will take away your joy from you. And on that day, you will not question me about anything. Amen, amen, I say to you, whatever you ask the Father in my name, he will give you. Until now, you have not asked anything in my name. Ask, and you will receive, so that your joy may be complete. The joy of the Lord is our strength. He's restoring to us the joy of the indwelling of the Holy Spirit. Holy ground, the Holy Spirit is present. Let us all bow down and worship the one true God through His Holy Spirit. In the glorious name of King Jesus, we are in the upper room awaiting the coming of the Holy Spirit. Jesus has ascended into heaven and we are waiting in the upper room. Come, Holy Spirit. Come Holy Spirit, come, come, come. Come Holy Spirit, come. You are here.
that his eyes were like a flame of fire. And that's what God wants us as we gaze into his eyes that fire to burn in our hearts, to cleanse our hearts, to bring forth our glory. And if we read in uh, Psalm 97, it says, A fire goes before him and burns up his enemies round about. And we spoke about the enemies. Um, Darina spoke about the angel that came. And, 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 yes, a war, yeah. and, and yeah. when he was going to war, there was light in him. Yes. But when he was just giving a message, there was no light. And here we see that the fire goes before him and burns up his enemies round about. Yes. The glory of the presence of the Lord. Verse 4. His lightnings light the world and the earth sees and trembles. And the mountains melt like wax at the presence of the Lord. And the, and the heavens declare his righteousness. And all people shall see his glory. Yes. And no wonder Isaiah says, Arise, shine. For the light your light the has light come. come. Yes. And the glory of the Lord has risen yes. upon thee. Yes. I think the Lord's going to open up the word like never before to us. Like never before.
speaks the voice of nations. His voice is like many, many waters. Many, many waters. Many, many streams. Many, many streams. Every last one of us is a water. So scripture says out of your belly will flow river, rivers of living waters. He's speaking many voices, many voices, speaking through us. Each one of us with a different voice. It's the voice of the Father. Voice like many waters. crystal clear. It's up to our waist. Almost it's, it's up. It's high. Yeah, 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 yeah. Voice of many Each one of us has a river running out of us. That's the Lord. And the Lord's voice is speaking through every last one of us. And it's the voice of many waters. Yeah. Because his voice sounds like my voice. 